Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Alex here. I'm so glad you guys are here for today's video. If you're new here, welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss my videos. And also you guys, hit the little bell next to the subscribe button so you can get notified whenever I post a video for you guys. So today, I wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, I wanna talk about wigs <laughs> and how we can make them look way more natural, okay? So for a disclaimer, those units that we all have that are just full caps and pop-ons and those the only way to make those look more natural is if you actually shift them to how your face shape looks if that makes sense so if you've got a full unit that's like a bang or something you can customize your bangs cut them how you want to shear them out or thin them out as you want to that's the only way to deal with those full cap units, right? The ones that don't have any lace, just customize them to your face shape and you're good to go with those. But the next ones I wanna talk about are the lace front units and those frontals. Now for me, foundation is everything. So it's basically how you put together your hair under those units. So for me, I always have my hair uh, braided straight back. I have about one, two, three, I have about six or seven braids in my hair. So that's when I'm wearing just the lace fronts okay not the full frontals just the little sections that have lace in it and then when i wear my frontals i always have about four or five or six smaller braids going from one corner of my brow to the next and then the sides i actually braid down and then go straight back if that makes sense so i try to have my sides as flat as possible whenever i'm wearing lace frontal units next up i want to demonstrate how you can make your lace front units look way more natural so i'm gonna go ahead and take this turban off i also want to add for your stocking cap that's important too so if you have a stocking cap that is your skin color go ahead and wear that or if you're like me and you just want to wear a black one you can go ahead and do that as well i have a stray hair somewhere <laughs> okay it's gone but yeah let me get into these ones so the first one i want to share with you guys is one that i made i believe this hair is Ali Moda, I'll have listed and linked everything that I talk about today. I actually made this unit all by myself. So if you guys want to see a actual video on how I make my units, that's fine. I will go ahead and do that for you guys one of these days. But yeah, this is the hair. It's beautiful. I've had this hair now i would say it's probably been about two years and it still has body still have life it's all about how you take care of your units you guys i don't put a lot of products on my hairs or my wigs <laughs> i basically let them be who they are add a little bit of nourishment in terms of deep conditioners and washing them i would say every time i wear them so if i wear this unit this week i'll make sure to go ahead and wash and dry and condition this after i wear it so for starters with this unit i have this customized to my head in terms of how it fits i did go ahead and put two combs right there because i didn't want to use the elastic band method i have i believe one or two units with the elastic band methods but i suffer from migraines so i'm always afraid that the band would be too tight and then that might trigger a migraine so do be careful with that if you have chronic migraines as well so i'm going to plop this baby on I'm not going to use the combs right away. I just want you guys to see how she sits. So first things first, always line up your the edge of your lace to your actual hairline, especially when you have wigs with that come with combs, like the ones you buy from the store. They come with combs. A lot of times you don't need to use the combs, and a lot of times those combs actually pull your hairline forward, so you end up with a unit that looks like this. We don't want that. So even if your unit comes with combs, don't use them right away. See how it sits first. Go ahead and put the combs in and see how it looks with the comb. If it's a, like forward or way off from your hairline, don't use them. You're fine. So I put combs in this one just to help me attach them, like I said, so I wouldn't have to use a elastic band for security. So that's how she sits and she's sitting pretty good i'm really really happy about that there is my lace at the top as you can see so i wanted to zoom in a bit for you guys so you guys can really see how this looks okay so here is the lace up top here is my hairline and here is the line of demarcation for this unit so this has baby hairs that i did go ahead and create so what i like to do is comb down everything and once everything is combed down I can go ahead and make my scalp. Now you can go ahead and glue this down if you want to. You can always glue down your lace. If you don't like to glue down your lace, you can always use the got to be glued situation that everyone uses. Or you can go ahead and just take your edge control and just make your baby hair stay in place that way. 
but I always like to go in with a powder or you can go in with a foundation. Once you've figured out exactly where you want your part to lay, you can go in with your concealer, you can go in with your foundation, you can go with your powder foundation. I prefer a powder foundation that's actually my skin tone. I have used the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder. I've also, and I'm still loving and using, the MAC Studio Fix Powder. I am the shade NC47. So what I like to do is get a really dense brush, like one like this, or one that you can do your brows with. It has to be stiff enough to really get in there and pack in the color. I think that's one of the main things that I appreciate about using this way. So just find your part where you want it. If you need help, take your rat tail comb and move hairs that need to be removed to either side of your unit. So once you've got that done, go ahead and put your powder in. Now, once your part is the way you want it, I like to go in, take my fingers and move any excess powder from off the edges of your, your part. So if that makes sense, like sometimes you can get powder on the outer edge of the hairs and it actually looks unnatural. You can actually see it. So I like to go in, remove those with my finger and then take enough powder on my brush again and come into between the line of demarcation and my skin. That way, nobody can tell except you where that line starts and where that line ends. And when it comes to making sure everything stays in place, you can also use the wig grips or you can use combs if you want to, like I said, and you can also use bobby pins, super duper old school. I still use them, so don't worry. But if you want to make sure the hair on top especially is laid after you've added your concealer, your foundation, or powder foundation, or your powder, or anything like that, I love to use this right here. This is the Kenra, this is their wax stick. And what I like to do is any flyaways that might be happening, you can always brush them down or comb down where it is the flyaways are. And once you've found them and done that, go in with the wax stick and actually push them down. This gives me hold all day, you guys. The flyaways don't move. Just add a little bit of pressure to make sure that the wax stick is taking to wherever those flyaways are. I always like to go in and rub them down and everything is like new, you guys. I love that wax stick. It has saved me so many times when it comes to flyaways and things like that. So go ahead and grab this. Everything that I talk about today, I'll do my best to list and link down in the description box for you. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. This is how I normally just do my wigs and weaves, you guys. Um, for this type of unit that I have, but let me go ahead and show you guys something else that I like to make you want to this nana. Give me that thing where I go for you late nana. The way you back it up, the way you boss in a place nana. Very on time, yeah, don't be late nana. Said I'm in love with you, and I'ma give you anything you want. And I'ma give you everything you need Bad man here, why I'm doing it? Said I'm in love with you And I'ma give you anything you want And I'ma give you anything you need Bad man here, why I'm doing it? Tell me, love Tell me what you want to know Me, I no go lose control Bad man, I feel your flow Why I'm slow This one will be private show Tell me, love Tell me what you want to know I go give you all and more Bad man, I feel your flow Why I'm slow? This one no be private show Your friends, they tell you Say I be nobody Been searching all around But I found nobody Call on me, call on me I go give you all of me, all of me Baby, make you follow me, follow me I go give you all of me, all of me A motto, she want say she moving to the baseline the way she a wine make a man wanna praise the wine She a gypsy girl, she a fine like the sunrise The way she move make a man cry I'm feeling her, feeling her so I'm wanting, I'm wanting, I'm wanting her more Tell me love, tell me what you want to know Me and no go lose control Bad man I feel your flow, wine I'm slow This one no be private show Tell me love, tell me what you want to know 
Okay guys, so I'm gonna take this off. I've had it on for about 10 minutes. And it's literally laid down this side. It could have been on for a little bit longer in my opinion. But I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did with the first unit before I figure out how I want this side to lay. So again, taking my stiff brush and my powder foundation, find the part that I created and put the foundation in to hide those little, 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 little black dots and also to make the part a little bit more realistic. Bring it over the line of demarcation to meet your scalp. Rub your fingers over where your foundation and the hair meet to the actual frontal or closure. And then I'm gonna take this off and figure out how I want this side to lay. So I just wanted you guys to get an idea of how I fix these units to make them my own, especially when I have a unit that's already like pre-made. And like I said, I wanna make it to my actual face shape and size and different things like that. So that's how I do it. I'm just trying to fix, I love this unit by the way. Just trying to fix how this looks. Alrighty, okay. So do you guys like that? Do you see how I went ahead and made it mine? Now I'm going to do, like I said earlier, going to take my little stick right here, my little wax stick, over the little flyaways that are sticking out, that are annoying. We don't want them around. We get rid of them real quick. So <laughs> that's how it looks on this side. It looks pretty natural to me. What do you guys think? So once I've laid her how I want her, I can go ahead and brush her to my liking. Now this unit didn't come like this. The actual, um, what do you call it? The little picture on the card is different. But like I said, always make these units yours and how you need them to look on you if that makes sense everything that you buy needs to be custom to you and your face and your body and things like that so make sure everything that you get is customized to you so i just wanted a side bank today and because this particular unit i've already done a review on this unit by the way i'm gonna um make a card of it it's gonna pop up somewhere <laughs> this unit i had a middle part and it was really pretty but i was like i want to try something different because it claims to be like a frontal type of unit so i was like let me see how far i can go and that part on the side there looks really really good i didn't want to go too far back because it's my first time actually tailoring this unit to me and yeah i'm pretty happy about how it turned out let me know in the comment section what you think about what i did with this particular unit so i'm just gonna brush her a little bit more she's a beautiful unit by the way i'm gonna link her in the description box so you guys can go ahead and pick her up but yeah you guys thank you so much for watching like i said i just wanted to do something a little bit different today and show you guys how i go ahead and make my wig look more realistic so yeah let me know in the comment section if you have any ideas or things that you do to make your units look realistic if you wear wigs let me know all right you guys thank you so much for watching and subscribing if you have and i will see you guys in my next video really really soon Bye guys. tell me what you want to know me and no go lose control Bad man I feel your flow Why I'm slow This one will be private show Tell me, no. Tell me what you want